we have all the products and processes we need to once again start recommending mortgage protection with every completion. That was the subject of the third Protection Review Summit which we held in London on the 9th of November 2017. In this very short video we're going to give you a summary of what the speakers had to say. Nick Erskine from AIG Life kicked things off by telling us about some of the work that product providers have been doing to simplify products and processes. Hi, my name is Nick Erskine, I'm Head of Intermediary Sales at AIG Life and today at the Protection Summit I've been talking about simplification in our marketplace. Uh, when you look back over the protection market for the last 10 years what we've found is, is that products have become more and more comprehensive and I think at the same time that's made our, our market quite complex. So what we try to do at AIG Life and I think other companies companies are now following suit is that we're trying to become uh, simpler, take a more straightforward approach to products, providing more affordability options and more simplicity. Uh, and what that does is, is really give, gives advisors and customers more choice in terms of who, which, what is the right product to use for the customer. Uh, so something that's easier to understand, uh, easier to position with a customer and faster to sell uh, quite often can be a great solution for the customer depending on what their suitability and needs are. So we're seeing the market evolve in this way, that's impacting uh, the way in which we capture information, how quickly we pro process uh, online applications uh, and in terms of understanding the simplicity of products. So that's making some really positive strides forward in the industry. Then Charlie Carrick from Lime, that's Life Insurance Made Easy, talk to us about technological breakthroughs. So technology is the answer. Honestly, that's all you need to know. I'm obviously slightly joking, but technology is without a shadow of a doubt a way in which we can increase the number of people that are thinking about protection. It comes back to that classic triangle that I mentioned during the talk actually, which is advisors are brilliant at the top end of the market where it's complicated, where there's a lot of different elements to take into account. But most people don't need that much advice. It's simple, easy guidance towards a solution, and the solution is life insurance. In this particular case, we're talking mortgage protection, so it's a fairly simple algorithm to work it out. And if you can use technology, you're going to reduce costs, you're going to increase capability. And also, we've been talking and mentioning these millennials. Millennials don't need to see somebody all the time to buy something. In fact, they don't actually get used to seeing people. They're much more comfortable on their phone or maybe, maybe even a tablet, but predominantly the phone. And if we can make it easy for them to buy stuff in that respect, then we'll start solving this problem. So yes, it is, as I mentioned, technology Tourette's, but there is definitely a part of the equation is technology is the answer. I then asked Mark Graves from Sesame whether independent financial advisors had a moral obligation to talk about protection with their mortgage customers. Well, I think I'd like to phrase it slightly differently. I don't think it's a moral obligation to sell protection. I think the most important thing is that they need to offer the client the opportunity to take it out. I think it's a moral obligation as part of the mortgage to offer the products that an advisor is authorised to sell. So I'm not sure how you can spend three hours with a client talking about the mortgage and class that as a sell and, con and from a conditional point of view of saying it took too long, I didn't have enough time to actually cover it. I just, I just don't see that. And I don't think it's enough just to allow the client to turn around and say, no, I'm not interested, and you can tick in a box and say the client wasn't interested. You have to take the client on that journey, and you have to make sure that you cover it. Now, I totally understand that the industry's got to do a lot more on the mortgage front and protection to slim it down, so that we're saving 20 minutes at the front and 20 minutes at the back, because there is a point, the time where the client gets past that they can take in any more information. And it may be that it needs to be on two interviews, and that, that's possible as well. But I, I, you just can't do a mortgage nowadays and sleep at night and think it's not your problem 
that the client hasn't taken and your customer hasn't taken insurance and you've just put them in the most expensive transaction they're ever likely to make in their house and they're uninsured because you didn't go the extra half mile to make it absolutely clear why they needed something. And finally, Nick Rendell from SCORE had this to say about mortgage protection. Okay, summarising my talk today, I, I think we have a moral obligation to improve protection coverage for mortgage sales. At the present time, there's far too few of our customers ultimately get a protection product and we need to change this. It's not just down to the providers, distributors or reinsurers. It's about all of us working together to find a collective solution to this problem.